Welcome back to PHP 101. In this video, we're going to get into post variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take all of this stuff <laughs> that we used with get and I'm going to come down here. I'm just going to copy it because it's all very, very similar. Um, and you're going to see here in a second that we can use a lot of this uh, same kind of syntax and do a lot of the same things with post and get. It's just a little bit different way of dealing with um, you know where the variables are and so forth but it's very very similar all right so we'll go ahead and call this post variables and so in order to do this all we have to do is come down here and set our form method to post as opposed to get and now this is going to post it uh, you could say silently in the background it's not going to be in the URL up here and we can really leave the rest of this in here the same except for this part right here because we're not going to be using get we're going to be using post so this is going to then post the data to our uh, the page that we specify here again by leaving this blank it's just going to come right back to this same page now we also need to come up here and ch change this to reference our post array. And so we'll change this to post and we'll change this to post. So let me go ahead and just kind of clean. You see, I have some kind of weird stuff over here. So let me go ahead and clean this up a little bit. I got a lot of code going on here. So um, let's go ahead and get rid of this one. All right, so that should get us cleaned up here. And now we can enter a search term here. So we'll just go back with our Yoast. And you'll see that we have our search term is Yoast. We have it entered here just like we did before. But if we come up here, you'll notice that it's not there. It's not in the URL. And that's because it's being posted kind of silently uh, in the background. Uh, you know, And so it's, again, it's not visible through the URL here. All right, so that, that's a simple way of using post. Post is what you're gonna be using uh, most often in order to perform you know, interactions with uh, forms and so forth, simply because you don't, again, you don't have all that information in the URL. A lot of times the information that's submitted is sensitive. You don't want it up there. For example, you could imagine a login form. If someone submits their username and password, you don't obviously don't want that showing in the URL up here. Also, there's a limitation on the amount of characters that you can use in the variables and the parameters in your, um, you know, in the URL parameters. So if you you have a form that has a lot of information in it, you have a long, say, contact form or application form or something along those lines, you're going to run into a limitation with the amount of data you can actually throw up there in the URL. So you want to use post for that reason as well. But all in all, there's not a big difference in terms of how you use post and get. It really comes down to the way that information is passed from one page to another.